Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to a brand new Free Tip Scout live stream with me, Free Tip Scout. How are we doing today? We have a really, really cool stream plan today, guys. I'm looking forward to it because we are going to be covering a mix of Serere. Plus, this is the first day of the brand new schedule. Uh, so if you haven't checked out the schedule yet, you will be able to find that new schedule on my Twitch page. If you're a subscriber, you can also find that schedule on uh, in the Discord as well. So it's really cool to see that in the Discord uh, because then it really explains exactly what we're going to be doing. But we're going to be covering a brand new game from today, which you can see on your screen right now is a game called Pookie. And I'm really excited to cover Pookie, guys, because it, it just complements everything that we do already around Serere. Because often when we're doing Serere and even when we're doing Football Manager now, um, we are looking into games quite detailed. So we're looking at like the match forms, we're looking at performances, we're looking at the stats behind them. And all of that that we do, all that legwork that we do, is so applicable to then play and apply in this game called Pookie. So we're going to be covering Pookie today. It's, as I say, it's a brand new game that I'm going to be covering every single day. Um, every time we go live, we'll be doing now a mix of Pookie. We're doing some Serere. And then there's going to be a couple of days, which are going to be Tuesday evening, so tonight. Uh, then Thursday evening and Friday evening, we'll be continuing our Luton to Legend FM series, which if you've missed that, and if you don't know what that is, that is super fun. It's a brand new series. We've only done one episode of that so far. And uh, in that episode, uh, we are basically trying to get Luton Town into the Premier League on Football Manager. But the caveat is we can only do it with uh, players that are in my Surrey Gallery. And if we want to then actually go and buy new players on FM in Luton Town, then we actually have to bring them into my gallery in. <laughs> you can see, it's just going to refresh here, that there are 3,000 Pookie Balls in the game right now. Only 3,000, right? So it's really scarce supply of Pookie Balls. And in two days, in two days time, uh, there's going to be a new drop where they're going to release more Pookie Balls. And there are various different Pookie Balls. Right, so it's almost what you have in Serere. You have these different uh, tiers, these different scarcities. So the scarcities that exist in Pookie are common, which is the lowest, technically the lowest Pookie ball NFT that you can own. Then you've also got rare, which is the next step up. Then you've got an epic Pookie ball, and then you've got the most scarce Pookie ball. So there are very few of these in the game, which is a legend Pookie ball, and you can see that this is a mammoth price, right? So it's, it's really expensive because there are literally no Pokeballs of this really in the game. There's very few of them. And this gives you the biggest boost because all these Pokeballs have different attributes. They also have different levels and they have different boost features that they can give you. And you can level up your Pokeballs um, in different ways. So if you have a higher level Pokeball, you can level up your Pokeball to way higher levels, which then means that once you've done that, those higher level Pookie Balls give you bigger boosts and they give you bigger scoring bonuses when you get your predictions correct. The lower level Pookie Balls, like the common, uh, that gives you lower scoring bonuses. And you can see here, if we click on the compare Pookie Balls, it actually really does a good job of explaining how it works. So right now, as in like the supply of the Pookie Balls in the game, the legends, which are the most expensive, there's only going to be 1% of the total supply in the game that are going to be legend Pokeballs. So they're going to be extremely, extremely rare. 76.8% of the total supply is going to be made up from the common Pokeballs, right? Which is the lowest level, the entry level, basically, at Pokeball NFT that you can collect and own. Then you've got rare, which is going to make up 18% of the total supply. And you've got epic, which makes up 4.2% of the supply. So you can see the scarcities here between all the different Pookie Balls. And I'm going to show you the Pookie Balls as well, as in like the different designs, because they're all randomly generated, which is really cool. And I'm going to show you the attributes that all these Pookie Balls have and how the bonuses work as well. So if we just take it down here, these are the various different levels that are available as in the max levels that you can level up your Pookie Balls to. Okay, so you can see here it says each Pookie Ball can level up and get more powerful in the process. So it's almost like a character in an RPG game, where if you have a, like a character, a certain class of character, they can only go up to like, say, a max of 40. But if you get a different uh, level character, 
they can go up to a higher level. And it's exactly the same principle here in Pookie, where a common uh, Pookie ball can be leveled up to a maximum of 40 levels, right? The rare can be leveled up to a maximum of 60. The epic can be leveled up to 80. And then the legend, which is the scarcest card, card or not card, the scarcest Pookie ball, sorry, in the game, can be leveled up to a maximum of 100 levels. What you'll also see as well, that there are attribute points. There's also multipliers. So based on the higher rarity of the Pookie ball, you can earn more PXP, which is basically experience points, that, which then allows your Pookie balls to level up quicker. You've also got prediction point bonuses. So these are the additional bonus points that you get uh, that are attached to your Pookie balls. There's multipliers. There's a lot here to kind of take on board. And we're going to come back to this because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with just like all these various different levels. We can definitely discuss it later. But essentially the point here is that the higher level Pookie Ball that you have, the more powerful it is for you in the game. And it then means that you can actually get bigger boosts on your correct scores that you get right in the game. The lower level uh, Pookie Ball that you have means that you can't max it out as high. And it also means that your level of attribute points are lower. So basically all the, the various different bonuses and stats associated to it are lower, but it's still a Pookie Ball that's very, very powerful if you have a good, correct score prediction game, as in, as in you can correctly predict scores and outcomes in games really accurately, then this common Pookie Ball can... Let's actually jump into the Pookie Ball. Uh, because I've shown you the Pookie Ball, but I've not shown you some of the parts of the Pookie Ball, which is really important. So let's let's click in here. This is my common Pookie Ball. So this is the Pookie Ball, which is an NFT, which I bought for about $21, $22. And so far, guys, right, this is prob this is probably the big thing with this, right? This Pookie Ball has cost me $22, right? And I've been playing Pookie for the last month. I've already made $11. So I've made 50% of my original investment back, 50% in the past month. And I haven't even been that good a predictor either. It's not like I've been smashing the predictions. I really haven't. I've, I've not been that good predicting so far. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I've had some good success on some matches, but I've not been smashing any like top tens or any podiums or anything like that at all. You earn Matic um, in Pookie by finishing in the top 50%, the top 50% in a game week. That's all you need to do. You need to finish in the top 50% and you'll then earn Matic. And I've just been able to finish in the top 50% pretty much in every single game week I've played in since I've been, since I've been playing for the past month. So this Pookie Ball cost me £22. That's the only money that I've put into the game right now as in I've spent in the game £22 or $22 actually. And I've made $11 back. Because you guys are probably wondering what some of this means. And this, this is quite important in the game. So we'll talk about that now. So we're going to click into this Pookie Ball here. Now, this Pookie Ball is going to be different. It's going to look different from your Pookie Balls that you get. Because they're all randomly generated, guys. They're all generated differently. And there's a couple of uh, things to keep in mind with the Pookie Ball, how it kind of looks, right? So You've got the, at the top left, you've got the month and the year that the Pookie Ball that I have was minted in, right? So this Pookie Ball uh, was minted on in May in 2023. If we take it down to the bottom here of the details, you can see that the sport uh, is football. So at the moment, there's only football in the game, but there are more sports which are going to be coming to the game, which you'll be able to use your Pookie Balls to predict with. Uh, the mint date, of course, is May, right? So I minted this uh, common Pookie Ball on May the 2nd. So just over a month ago, right? And this is my unique number as well. So this is the unique identifying number for this NFT here. We well, don't need to know about that serial number, to be honest with you, but it's quite nice to show you that that is the serial number which uniquely identifies this as a NFT on the blockchain. Then you've got a couple of other options here, or not options, but you've got a couple of other areas to this, to your Pookie Ball. And I'm going to explain them now. The level up, so the level of your Pookie Ball determines both your prestige, which we talked about earlier, and it also 
determines how much of a boost your Pokeball gives you when you are correctly or trying to predict correct scores. So the higher your level of Pokeball, the bigger the boost basically, and the bigger the prestige. And if you have a bigger boost, it means that you can get you can get a uh, higher scores, which will then allow you to place higher up in the Pokeball uh, leaderboards for a game week. If you have a higher prestige, it means that you are then going to have more energy because the prestige, the higher your prestige, means then you get higher energy. And if you have higher energy, it means that you can actually predict in more uh, games in a game week. And if you can predict in more games in a game week, then you have a chance then to get higher scores. Simple as that. With a common Pokeball, uh, this one here is up to level 22, but the maximum level that I can get to is the common Pokeball is 40. So once I level up this Pokeball to 40, it's going to be maxed out. It doesn't go higher than level 40 for the common. And of course, the higher level, to, higher level Pokeballs have higher max levels that you can max them out to. Okay, cool. We've got here as well, we've got pressure, right? And you're probably wondering to yourself, what is pressure, right? And why is this saying 79 out of 100? This pressure mechanic, um, I really like, I really enjoy it. And I think it's so cool. So let's click on it and it talks, it brings up a pop-up box here, which then explains the pressure mechanic in the game, which I think is really cool. So if you think about this, we have a ball, right? And our ball is a pookie ball. And if you think about a real ball in real life, a real football, a real football in real life loses pressure over time. So the more that it's played with, the more that you kick it out with it, um, if, you, if you kick it really hard, if you, <laughs> if you play for it nonstop, uh, play with it nonstop, eventually the pressure is going to go down and down and down. And it's going to become a football that's less and less effective, right? It's the same concept with Pokeball where the more that you use it, the more that you predict with your Pokeball, the more pressure it loses, right? So your pressure starts at 100 for a brand new Pokeball that you have. And then every time that you use that Pokeball to make a prediction, it drops by 10. And when your pressure gets below a certain amount, it then means that you're going to get a reward penalty. So it's not a reward, guys. It's actually going to be almost negative. Uh, it's going to be having a negative effect on your predictions and the rewards that you can earn, right? So you almost don't want your Pokeballs to get too low in pressure. If they get too low in pressure, it's going to uh, affect your chances to get the higher level rewards. So you always need to keep your Pokeballs nice and pressurized. Now, it's at 80 right now. And what that means is that I can predict with this Pokeball uh, because it's green, right? So it's at 80 and it's not going to give me any reward penalty. You can see that here. We're going to have 0% uh, negative like um, deductions, right? But when we predict more with this Pokeball, which you're going to see in a second, it's going to get to the point where it drops below, say, 50 or 60. And when that happens, we're going to start to then get penalties. And when you have a low pressure, it then means that you get less prediction points and less PXP, which is basically the XP for your Pokeballs, which then means that you can you're, you're going to be slower to um, level up your Pokeballs and you're going to have less prediction points that you get from your prediction scores in a game week. So basically, guys, to keep this nice and simple for you to understand, keep your Pokeballs pressured. Keep them pressurized because when they get to low pressure, it means that you are going to get some penalties, some points penalties, and you're going to basically just earn less. Going for over 2.5. Uh, but it might not actually be that. However, when we have a look at this here on footy stats, what we're going to do is we're going to see how effective Montreal is really at playing at home and how effective or ineffective Minnesota have been so far this season at playing away from home. You can kind of already get a, a picture of that now, that Montreal here over their last five home games have only lost one and they've won four. Minnesota have been awful. Look, it's the complete reverse for Minnesota. They've lost four out of their past five away games. Complete reverse home and away form here, which is always what we talk about, right, on these streams, that MLS teams, when they play at home, go hard on them at home uh, with the players that you have. And then if you have players that are playing away from home, don't expect any great scoring because often their away forms are so Jekyll and Hyde in the MLS. When we have a look 
further down, we can see that this tool is kind of saying that there's a high percentage here for over 1.5 goals. But again, it's a little bit uncertain about whether there's going to be over 2.5 here. And this, this uncertainty kind of is reflected, right, in these odds, which is why they're kind of, the bookies trying to cover um, a nice price point for two of these outcomes, both of these outcomes, rather than weighting it so heavily on one. So when we go back to footy stats here, we can see both teams to score is quite low, actually, at 31%. Um, the average in the MLS is 54%, and the average for over 2.5 is 52% too. So that's, that's quite a good average, really, for goals. But in this specific fixture, um, the tool is kind of saying that maybe it's going to fall massively under the average. And we're going to... But yeah, I love Puki. I think it's great. And if you want to get involved, as I say, you can find the link um, on my uh, Twitch right now. So make sure you use that link, guys, if you sign up to Puki. And uh, get yourself set up so that you're ready to uh, pick up a Puki ball this Thursday because they will go really quickly, guys. It's not going to be the kind of thing where, like, you could, you've got days to buy them. They'll all pretty much sell out on Thursday. So you've got to be ready to go for it. And, uh, of course, we'll be covering more Pookie on tomorrow's stream as well. But we've got another stream tonight. And so on tonight's stream, we're going to be doing Luton to Legend, which means that we are going to be continuing our journey to try and get Luton into the Premier League. But we have to do it with rare players that I have in my gallery. So we have a lot of challenges ahead of us and we're going to be trying to avoid the sack whilst we do it because we have pissed off a lot of our players in our squad. But luckily we haven't pissed off the chairman yet, but uh, who knows, that could change really quickly if results in our friendlies start to show us that our wingback tactic is actually a bit of a trap. So anyways, guys, we'll be back again at eight o'clock tonight. Make sure that you join me. Uh, we'll have some music as well on tonight's stream. So it's going to be really cool. Slightly different kind of stream nice and chilled. So yeah, join me at eight o'clock tonight uh, for more fun and games on FM and with Sarah. Thanks so much.